everyone. My name is Jung Kai Phan Ngoc. This is the very first topic for me in Toastmasters Speaking Club. As an icebreaker, I'd like to tell you a part of my story, which is about obesity and the way I struggle with it. Actually, looking at me now, 57 kilogram girl. I know I'm not too slim or skinny like any ordinary girl. But it took me a long, long journey to achieve this wonderful wage. For me, it's such a nice repay after a hard working day of doing exercise. Let me bring you guys to the past. I used to live with obesity more than three years, and the peak of my wage was 75 kilograms. I remember that when I entered high school, I was 60 kilograms. However, after one year of studying, everything turned 180 degrees when I gained 15 kilograms. And what will be will be due to the series continuous day of non-stop eating. I finally reached 75 kilograms in the middle of grade 11. The life of fat people is also different from the normal. When you need more space to see, bigger clothes to wear, and of course, more amount of food to eat. I just could wear white t-shirt and baggy pants. At that time, I was the biggest girl in class, and my friend put a nickname for me. Can you guess what? Fat. Baymax. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Baymax girl version. There were two subjects that I was afraid of most. Physical education and military education. The feeling was so bad and full of shame when it was always the last girl to finish the line in running test. The only girl not to pass the shooting test just because you were too fat to crawl through the hands. My friend gossiped a lot about my wage. They told me that, hey, you were too fat, why don't you lose weight? When I received those comments like this, I just thought that they are jealous with me. I don't care. <laughs> it was not until when I woke up in a beautiful morning, crack, my neck, my arms, my back are hurt. I felt the band all around my body. There must be something wrong here. I asked my mom and she replied that, your body is going down when you are getting fat and the pains come at, at, as an absolute consequence. Yeah, looking at myself in the mirror, I realized that I couldn't maintain this unhealthy life anymore. So, I made an important decision in my life which I had never thought before. Going on diet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, losing weight not only requires you a high patient, to say no with the invitation for eating out, but also a strong determination to do exercise all the time. In the first few weeks, I struggle with my mind a lot whether I should eat or shouldn't. However, thinking about a beautiful body like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I get up on eating and start doing exercise again. As the saying goes, good things come to an end. I finally lost 18 kilograms, 18 kilograms in nearly four weeks. Uh, four months. 18 kilograms in nearly four months. And me myself can experience that there are such a lot of positive change in my life after getting fit. In terms of appearance, I'm not beautiful, but more good looking than the fat old days. Otherwise, my hair way much better. I don't feel hurt before waking up. The productivity of work is increasing due to the refreshing mind after doing exercise every week. I'm not passive or think negatively anymore. At present, I live by the motto. So using all the time to do the things I want and enjoy life to the fullest in a healthy way. So all things considered, I want to send out a strong message for those who are obese. Do not sit there and be sad about your appearance. Just standing up and walking out to get healthy life. Thanks for listening.